All right, my, 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 Gemini, what is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2019. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Make sure if you would like to hit... um that booking button if you would like to book a personal and private reading make sure that you click that about tab there's a hyperlink down at the bottom that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again at scorpion reds tarot at simply book me if this video resonates and if you would like to send some love to the page my paypal information is in the description and as you can see all of that love goes right back as you can see this tower then went up <laughs> all these new decks and stuff so thank you guys so much for sending in love and support to the page thank you guys so much and if you would like to give a love donation it um link for the paypal is in the description let's get into the reading you guys Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Gemini. Thank you, thank you so much for waking us up today with a smile on our face. We are here to get the general re um, energy for the sign of Gemini for the month of April 2019. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much for waking us up, feeling rejoiced, feeling energetic, feeling proud, feeling happy. Thank you so much for all of the progression that you've given us. Thank you so much for all the lessons that we are using to make better decisions in the future. Please give us guidance again, Father God, for April 2019. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Gemini guidance for April 2019. Thank you again. All right, so this is the wild offerings that we are going to tap into this and just see what the overall energy is for this reading all right thank you again please give me guidance for the sign of Gemini for April 2019 thank you again thank you please give me guidance for Gemini for April 2019 thank you that's too much Here we go, one card. Sanctuary. All right, so this says, a sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Enter, sit down on the throne of your own heart. Sanctuary. So, this is about that inner peace. This is about really self-love, you know. Taking that time out, just saying, you know what, well, let me just love on myself real quick. Because, you know, sometimes life can throw some bullshit at you. It really can. And it's about when life is throwing you lemons, making some lemonade, making you a lemon tart, you know, making you... All type of shit with some damn lemon. Make it some lemon uh, uh, pound cake. Honey, you understand? You better be the best lemon squeezer out there to be a... <laughs> you feel me? And it's about, like, legitimately. When life is throwing you lemons, making the best out of it. But the only way that you can do it is to be able to remove yourself and go inside real quick. And say, let me go into my safe place inside. You know, no matter what's going on, just knowing that I love myself enough to say, you know what, time out. Time out. Let me go into my safe place, regroup, and get myself together so I can focus and be able to deal with this in the best way possible. And to make lemon pound cake, lemon tart, lemon aid, uh, lemonade, lemon um, essential oils. Okay, girl. <laughs> You better go into that safe place. You better go into that sanctuary and regroup. Again, a sanctuary resides in you no matter what is happening. The inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath. Enter and sit down on the throne of your own heart. All right? So let's get into it. Let's see. 
Why is spirit telling us to tap into the sanctuary right now? About that inner peace. About that inner happiness. About that self-love. About that deep inner fulfillment, Gemini. It's about finding that sweet, deep inner fulfillment. And knowing, you know, sometimes we look to other things to find that sanctuary. That place where we can find that exhale that refuge you know sometimes we look to other people to give us that safe sanctuary instead of looking for it in ourselves. and then when you start looking for it in yourself and you start believing in yourself and that passion starts growing to and say the throne of your own heart the seven of earth you are patiently waiting you have been working hard, very, very diligently, and you are ready to pick the fruits off of those ripe vines, okay? You are ready to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So you're just sitting back and you're waiting, okay? That's why Spirit says go into that safe place, okay? Sit on that throne of your own heart. No, ooh. And that queen of fire. That queen of fire came out. Sit on that throne of your heart knowing that you put your heart and soul. That you were passionate. That you were fiery. You were action oriented. That's right. You were extremely action oriented. Okay. You made things happen this time. And now you're waiting. Let's take a deep breath. Go and sit down somewhere. <laughs> just be patient. <laughs> Go in that safe place and just be patient. You're going to get everything that's covered to you. Everything that you put out in the universe, it is going to come to you. Just know it and just relax. The call, judgment, okay? So it seems like if you're going through something right now in regards to like the justice system or something like that, there will be balance in this situation. There will be karmic and legal balance. So if you're going through a divorce, um, it's going to fall in your favor. So you will be getting a settlement that you're looking for. Okay. When it comes to spiritual universal law and just the court of law, it's about facts. It's about truth. It's about right and wrong. Just, you know, judgment, being called to judgment. You see what I'm saying? So there are going to be people that are going to have to answer to certain things. Do you see what I'm saying? And the things that you are being called to right now is all of this hard work that you've put out. <clears throat> you're being called. You are being called so that you can see, listen, you know. You have made better decisions. You have made better judgment calls. You have done the right thing. And that's why blessings are going to come to you. And this is fixed energy right here. So this is here to stay. So what you have put in the universe with you, these changes that you've made, Gemini, is fixed. These blessings that are going to come to you, it's going to be around forever. The high priestess and this is the three of yes. Like I said, you've really been working hard and you've been, it seems like you've been, um, I want to say like studying. Y'all have been studying and y'all been working together with somebody. Like someone's been teaching you, like that high priestess right there. Like someone has been teaching you like a new way of life, a new way of being and bringing you a lot of just like financial success that's coming to you. Like, you're about to reap a lot of rewards right now. And that's that sanctuary. And the high priestess is about that inner sanctuary. It's about that self-judgment. You know what I'm saying? Being able to judge yourself and make the right calls. And people honestly look up to you because of your knowledge about certain things. And just how you... Ooh. See, they go to have patience. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So like I said, you worked hard and you're going to be victorious in it because not only did you work hard, but you're kicking ass on what you're doing. You're just having to be patient so that you can reap the rewards of everything that you worked hard for. There will be judgment. There will be fair judgment in this situation. So you don't worry, okay? Because you did what you were supposed to do. And I feel like you went and got help. And you have people. I feel like you have a team of people around you right now that are really trying to help Gemini um, work on their self. And get to the place that they need to be like I can see like maybe your sister or like maybe a cousin or something like that like they're your they're your they're your team right now you know what I'm saying like y'all holding each other down right now and they see you doing things and they're like shit I'm out to you know maybe you inspire you inspire them to come with you on this journey. And I think that all of y'all are just coming together. And y'all working together on this kind of like soul journey. Of just like rediscovery. And just like this self love. This self growth thing. Like I feel like y'all might be going. Like maybe this summer. Like y'all might be going to. Hold on. I can see like the summer y'all could be possibly going to like, um, excuse me, y'all could be going to like India, y'all could be going to like Mexico, y'all could be going and like do some type of little retreat or somewhere. I could really see that like on some self like women empowerment type of thing like on some real high priestess type of shit. I feel like you and your little soul group, your little group of uh, guys or your group of chicks i mean i could definitely see this for gemini men too like you and your boys y'all just like man look you know don't worry about this shit like they they want some like don't worry about this shit bro we got you you just come and hang with us we gonna keep your mind off of this shit there there will be judgment day for whatever happened in that shit there will be balance you just focus on the good shit and we gonna help you you worry about your self growth and <laughs> you find an inner peace, you know, and we're going to keep your mind focused on the good shit, okay, so all that bullshit that you was going through, I need you to keep your mind at peace, you see those doves over there, this is the seven of swords, so this is, you know, someone trying to mentally find a way how to maneuver and sneak out of a situation that they feel like isn't benefiting them no more. You see what I'm saying? Because they want to be at peace. They don't want to be out here still feeding geese and things like that. Geese are annoying. Like I said in my other videos, if you've ever been to a picnic before and you had some Popeye's chicken on your little blanket with your little glass of wine, chilling, being divine, and here comes some geese hawking at you because you got some chicken, you know, and you like throw a piece of chicken like go ahead, go ahead somewhere mind your business go ahead mind, some, mind your business somewhere but they ain't gonna leave you alone they just keep following you following you following you and you just like listen <laughs> I gotta find peace I gotta find balance with this situation there gotta be a better way than this and this is Gemini using their own inner strength their own tactics no one trying to you know tell them what to do this is them doing their own thing and finding a better way to get out of a situation to avoid a disaster. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't want something that is going to make them unhappy. You know? So this is a complete ending to those days. And right now it's just them having to work on being patient. Because, you know, as we said up here, you know trying to find that balance within yourself you know what i'm anyway let me just keep going i'm being called to pull these cards this is like the um the heart oracle deck i hope this is making sense i feel like i'm making sense but i feel like i just been mumbling and jumbling but whatever <laughs> But it's like finding that peace, finding that love within your own self. And when you find out how to go in there and to tap in there, 
you're going to find a better solution on how to get out of any situation that makes you unhappy. Does that make sense, Gemini? Because I know I was mumbling and jumbling and I hope that y'all could have followed me. But this whole reading is about you've always been a hard worker. You've always known how to put the work in to get what you desire. You know how to be passionate. You know how to be sexy. You know how to be vibrant. You know how to make something come to life. And you know how to talk something into persuasion. Because that's just the gift of Gemini. Y'all got the gift of game. Y'all got it. You see what I'm saying? Y'all got it. But this whole journey was to teach you how to have good judgment. And to teach you about what goes up comes down. You got to have good judgments when you're dealing with people. And as long as you do right, the universe going to do right by you. The universe going to do right by you. So surround yourself by a good team of people. Not just by anybody. Don't surround yourself by anybody. You know? Because three is just, you know, that's three's, three's company. You see what I'm saying? So right now... Gemini is in a place of just community, of company, you know? That I feel like Gemini don't really... They don't want to be alone, but they have to be alone. But it's like... Stepping into this place, the sanctuary, helps them kind of come out and have the right type of company in their life. Because they know how to tap back in and use their own intuition. And throughout this whole thing, it teaches them how to step in and step out. Who to have in your team and who not to have in your team. How to use your wisdom and your intuition. And how to get yourself out of situations that you know is not benefiting you. That's what it's about. Anything that's not making you happy. If it's not making you happy. How to get out of it. Oh, Lord. I start to get irritated now when I hear that damn sound, bitch. Okay. So this is what's going on. In regards to matters of the heart. God wants you to just like really, you're having a hard time healing. And I feel like you're kind of impatient right now. It's like you just kind of want things to just stop hurting now. You want things to just stop hurting. You know, you, you had a big ending in uh, this ten of water in reverse. Like you might have had a big breakup or a divorce or something like that. So you're going through a point where you're having to learn how to be alone. You know, you're having to learn how to be alone. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that you don't have to share your heart with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about having good judgment. It's about having good judgment and knowing what to invest your time and what to wait for. Do you understand? That's what this is about, Gemini. It's about knowing who, what, when, and where, how to share your love. Who to give this passionate, sexy, you know, vivacious energy too do you get me it's about having that judgment and just because you might have been through some situation doesn't mean that you shouldn't share the love this is about balancing that heart chakra that I love that helps you with the well-being of your just emotions right now you see what i'm saying so i just feel like maybe gemini just feels like just emotionally y'all just not ready to give to anyone right now and that's cool and that's why i'm saying learn how to tap into that sanctuary know when you need to say okay it's time to tap in and it's time to tap in tap out you gotta go with the flow of your heart you truly gotta go with the flow of your heart and listen to your heart but right now, your heart is telling you to heal, and you're not healing. You just want to skip past it, and you're impatient. You just want everything to come to you right now. And God is telling you, no, it's time to go into that inner sanctuary. A sanctuary resides in you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath. 
I'm going to repeat. Take a deep breath. Enter and sit down on the throne of your own heart. Follow the flow of your heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to follow the flow of your heart. That's why you're not able to share love right now. You should be able to share love right now. Because you got it. We ain't even going to go into the past. You got it. You're in a good place right now. But you got to follow your heart. You got to follow what your heart is telling you. And your heart is telling you to heal. You can't skip past this process. Okay? This is a thing right now that you really are not trying to embrace. You just want to work, 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 work. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the three of pentacles. You trying to like drown yourself out with work, chilling with your co-workers and stuff like that, learning new trades and stuff like that. You possibly went back to school or something like that, or you took up a third job. I mean, not a third job, but like a second job or something like that. And to, you feel like you dating your career type of shit, you know? I feel like this 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 matter at his heart, like you're just trying to work past it. You're not trying to really heal. And you just feel like, just because, okay, I'm not entertaining it. I'm focusing on work and stuff like that. I'm just ready to be happy again. I just want this new abundance. I want, you know, this, this, and that. But it's the, just because just you're focusing on other things that don't mean nothing. You're not focusing on embracing the healing. You see what I'm saying? You're not focused on embracing the healing. You're not following your heart. You're not. Your heart is telling you that you need to go because it's like you might have even tried to date new people and things like that. And those stupid shit will trigger things to show you that you're not ready. That's why you're not sharing the love yet because you know you're not ready yet. Because you still get triggered. You still get triggered. You see? That's why you're not able to shine right now. That is why you're not able to shine. You are not able to... Bring in the joy and stability. You're not able to do that. That's that crown chakra. That understanding. That helping you with your personal losses and grief. You know. You got to get some mental understanding around that. That's that purple. That's your crown chakra. Your solar plexus. I do. You know. Understanding that. And knowing. What I do. What I have to do. You know. What my duties is. And letting that energy flow through your body, have an understanding, and letting that positively throw through, flow through your body to create change. So you can bring in that joy and stability. So you can shine and embrace the healing and let it flow and open up to your heart, you know, to the love so that you can give it to someone else. You feel me? But you got to be patient right now. You got to be patient. This is about you loving yourself. This is about you trusting yourself. This is about you knowing yourself. You can't go into a situation with somebody else if you don't know yourself. If you don't love yourself. If you don't love yourself enough to say, you know what, enough is enough. Let me tap out. You know, because sometimes we push ourselves to keep entertaining shit that we know is in a bad judgment. You know deep in your heart that shit ain't cool. The judgment cards, that's that Scorpio energy. That's you know how we are. Ain't no middle ground with us. Either you in or you out. You understand? If I'm fucking with you, I'm not fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you start moving funny around me with the fuck shit, I got to go. You know? So that's having that, that non-middle ground with people. You know? If you see something or someone do something that makes some hair stand up on your back or something don't feel right, that's knowing that you got to trust the flow of your heart and you got to make movements. That's a whole lot, baby. Oops, I like somebody got a trouble downstairs. Somebody got in trouble downstairs. All right. <clears throat> so, Gemini, looks like y'all were dealing with a king of wands. Looks like you guys were dealing with a king of wands. And you see the queen of wands up there. So this is someone that you definitely felt like was your soulmate. Your counterpart for real. And you feel like this person was playing the balancing act with his big fat ugly ass. Uh-huh. His motherfucking ass was trying to pay a balancing act. And he was trying to be slick. 
and sly. Uh huh. And that's why I feel like that's why you felt like that you had to use your seven of swords energy because this person was doing that shit to you. You see what I'm saying? This person was doing this to you. This Leo, Aries, Sagittarius was doing this to you. And you said, you know what? I got to be one up on their ass. I got to be one up on their ass. And that's why going forward, the one thing that you did learn, Gemini, is to always keep peace at all times. If anybody's interrupting your peace, you learn how to slick and slide your and maneuver your ass up out of a situation. Before they can get you, you gonna get them. You think that you about to get me and dip out? No, nigga, I'm about to dip out. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because I already see your bullshit. I already see your bullshit. I know how to sneak out and go work on myself. That's that eight of pentacles. So you wound up on them. You stepped up on them. So now, not only, <clears throat> Gemini, did you realize from jump, this is a situation that I might need to take myself out of. I got to learn how to start loving me and be okay with just it being me and my friends and the people that I truly want to work with or situations that I want to work on. So you wind up on them. Not only did you learn their own game on how to use your judgment and get the fuck out of a situation because you see this person is trying to use you and manipulate you and get out of there, you know, quick. Before they get caught in a situation. You wound up on them. But you started out with a seven of pentacles being patient. But once you get past this process. And you learn how to get that joy and stability back. You wound up on them. And now you went from a seven of pentacles to an eight of pentacles. And now your product that you are producing. Is legitimately masterful. It is like a masterpiece. Your quality of your work. Is something that. They make legends about. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is fucked up. Why? I don't know why. I feel like maybe for some of y'all. And you know what? I always think that Geminis, they always don't ever have a problem with talking and telling people how they feel. I feel like this Gemini, whoever is in this energy, I feel like you could talk and tell your friends and your counterparts and people how you felt about situations but when it came to confronting and speaking up for yourself with this person right here i don't think you were able to do it it was something about this person's energy like they knew how to always mentally be one up on you in the conversation where even when you would try to get across your point and how you felt they was trying to pull off their bullshit they always had they always had one up on you and you just felt like you could never talk or you were scared to talk because you felt like this person will always find some way out of the situation. And it's just like, nah, I, I, I figured it out. No, no, no. Mm -mm. You figured it out, y'all. They go that judgment again. Except for this one ain't working out in their favor. This ain't working out in their favor. This is not working out in their favor. Yeah, this king of wands. Hmm. This king of wands here. This one that snuck out. Snuck out your life because they decided that they wanted to go work out on their on their own personal endeavors. They wanted to go work on their self, right? They wanted to go work on themselves and become an emperor. They wanted to go work on themselves and step out of this whole King of Wands thing and become an emperor and just, and you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's the way that they went about it. It's the way that they went about it, because if you want to sneak out, you, you don't have to sneak out. If you want to do what you want to do, do what you want to do. You ain't got to be sneaky and manipulative about it. And because this person did that, you want to go off and go work on yourself, all right? Because you want to become a better person. That's cool. But the way you did it, you're going to get your karma for it. You're going to get, you're going to get exactly what you paid for. You're going to pay what you weigh. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you don't step on people. Like, that's just not the way you move. That's just not the way you move. And that person is going to have their judgment day. They will have their judgment day about this situation. 
They most certainly will. They most certainly will. And not only did they teach you, Gemini, they taught you about people like this. They taught you how to be one up on people like this. They taught you how to <laughs> be slicker than the average bear, which is is not necessarily a good thing. But also, they're teaching you about self growth. If you didn't go through this, you wouldn't be able to get to be at this point right now where you're learning how to tap into that inner sanctuary. Right now, because you went through this situation, everything that you have worked for is coming back to you. The struggle is over. The hard days is over, especially for you financially, Gemini. The sun is coming out. Okay? So that's why you allow this person to deal with their karma and whatever they, whatever wheels that they set forth in the universe. You let them deal with this. Because at the end of the day, as long as you focusing on yourself, like I said, you wind up on them. You wind up on them. They stepped out because they wanted to go work on themselves and they didn't want to be with you no more. But they did it in a fucked up way. Right? So you learn how to motherfucking peep shit. Work on yourself now. You waiting to receive the fruits of your labors and there it is. Your hard days is over. This is the seven of cups. Now you have multiple choices in your life. You have so many options now, Gemini. It's just like, I don't even know what to pick from. But be careful. Because this is what this whole reading is about. It's about having good judgment. Good judgment. And when you know yourself... You know the world better. That's that high priestess. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you know yourself, you know the world better because you know how the world operates. You understand? You're able to teach other people how the world operates. You're able to trust yourself with your own intuition. And you're able to know, listen, I'm going to have a lot of options. I'm going to have a lot of communication from a lot of different... These cards are slick. A lot of communication from a lot of different people coming to me. But I'm going to have to block and just, you know... I can't communicate with them all. I can't entertain them all. Everything that's being offered to me is not good to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's about knowing better. Because you don't want to be in a situation where you're unhappy. Communicating with the wrong people, selecting the wrong options can lead you to unhappiness. You know? And then you might be in this because what 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 does what does he always ask Atlas? Who are you? You understand? So if you're constantly looking for other people to fill these cups, you'll never know who are you. And that's the whole thing. If you don't know who you are, if you don't know who that bitch is, if you don't know who that man is, and you going out in this world dealing with people like this, oh honey, Oh, honey, you're going to have a long road. You're going to have a long road because everybody not nice. Everybody don't play fair. Everybody don't play fair. As you can see, you had to learn to not compete when things give you emotional unhappiness. You had to learn not to play around in third party situations. Do you understand? If someone's coming to you and you know good and goddamn well that they got somebody else that they fucking with, you learn how to turn the other fucking cheek and walk away and say it ain't worth the fucking karma. I'm good. I am good. I'm not going to fucking compete. I'm not going to compete. That's just bringing me unhappiness. So I learned how to not entertain that shit. You understand what I'm saying? I learned how not to entertain that shit. No. I learned how to select better things. There's ghouls, goblins, there's money, fame, fortune, and everything. But there's a price for some of these things. There's a price that you pay for instant gratification. And that's what Gemini has learned. And because they learn how to block that shit out and to think about it. That is Gemini going in their sanctuary thinking about what they're doing. So that they know how to block out things that they will bring unhappiness unhappiness, unwanted competition and fucking heartbreak. They learn how to block that shit out. That's why you gotta go through this part. That's why you gotta heal. You gotta understand and you gotta... You have to know. Some people have to... When you have these 
brief moments in your life when you're single, you have to appreciate them. Because it's rare that we're just by ourselves. It's rare that we don't have our moments without no kids or, you know, where we really could just be. Because if you're in a relationship and you're dealing with stuff like this, you too busy focus on relations, relationship stuff, pleasing a man or pleasing a woman or trying to handle your duties in a relationship that sometimes you get you lose yourself you lose yourself free yourself trust free yourself children in reverse it's not time for some of y'all to have children yet because y'all have to go through this first what is this thing about your children for some of you if you don't have children this is telling you it's not time for you to have children yet because you got to learn how to be to yourself and love yourself first and go through this process first. Trust. Free yourself. And I want to say that you're dealing with a whole bunch of fucking children. Like whoever you're dealing with is a fucking child. And you might find out about a child very soon. And that might change your um, romantic feelings. It says trust just, yes. Okay, listen. And that whole thing about finding out about a child, that might just be for some of y'all. But I'm telling you to trust. And free yourself from an unwanted like if it's a if it's a situation that you know is giving you red flags in love, just trust yourself and free yourself. You have to really be that high priestess and trust your own intuition. You really, really do. You know, and if you're getting communication and you got a lot of options and things like that. So you're gonna have a lot of new people coming to you. So if it's something that sounds fishy, trust yourself and free yourself from this situation. Cause it might be a child that you don't know about, but you're gonna find about it very soon. Okay? And this might be someone new that you're dealing with and you're gonna <laughs> Your whole romantic feelings for this person is going to be altered once you find out this information. And you're going to you're going to trust whatever the source is and you're going to free yourself. And you're going to go into your sanctuary and you're not going to cry about it. You're not going to weep about it. You're going to be good with it. Because you've learned how to... <clears throat> you've learned how to navigate these waters. But at the same time, I want y'all to learn how to speak for some reason. I don't know why my throat is just like, and I just did other readings and I didn't feel like this other than nobody, other than this. Like for some reason, I feel like some of y'all, y'all have problems with speaking that. I feel like sometimes y'all see these type of idiots like this. Y'all see, the, see this person trying to balance you. And trying to sneak off and do shit elsewhere. But I don't feel like you speak up and say anything about it. You know? And this person just comes to you with some, oh, oh, man, I'm just trying to work on myself. I'm trying to become an emperor. I'm trying to, you know, build my own business. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Man, you not trying to go build no fucking business, bitch. You trying to sneak off doing what the fuck you want to do. Stop trying to play with me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like there's somebody that y'all dealing with that just be like trying to sneak off, trying to say, oh, they just go, trying to go work. They trying to go to work. They trying to become a boss. Like they trying to get this promotion. So they putting in a lot of work and all this stuff like that. Like, nah, fuck you, bitch. You not going to fuck work you fucking bitch you liar this is a liar this motherfucker right here is a liar you see what i'm saying and they not used to getting caught in a bullshit they used to sneaking off stealing doing whatever the fuck they want to do you know what i'm saying get whatever the fuck they want and this person got you scared to speak up about their bullshit but well, abby this is what you left or this is what you're dealing with and what i'm telling you you need to learn how to speak up about shit don't just let motherfuckers just do any goddamn thing fuck you bitch you're not going to fucking work you lying son of a bitch solitude this is about you learning how to be by yourself you gotta learn how to be by yourself and be happy with yourself separation i ain't pulling nothing else I ain't pulling nothing else, Gemini. 
sanctuary, solitude, separation. So if you are still in a relationship, it's about to end very soon. I'm trying to tell you. You learned the tricks of the trade. Learn that to your benefit and get the fuck out of a situation before some shit turns into something that you really won't regret. If you're still in it. If you're still in it. For the ones that are not in it, it's just like you just learning how to work on yourself. Having a finer, better quality, the type of people that you surround yourself with. And using your own intuition. And tapping into your high priestess type of shit. And being patient. Please give Jim some last guidance. Bitch. Okay, mama. Okay, you better get you better you better get Yim and Yah. You better get Yim and Yah. You better get Yim and Yah. Okay, Yim and Yah. Come on, Queen. Come on, Empress. Come on, Empress. What? Come on, Empress. Let me come on, Empress. Come on, Empress. Yes, Miss Yim and Yah. Don't do me. Don't ever do me. I hope you do me. I thought you knew me. Don't ever do me. Don't ever do me nasty like that. Come on, Yim and Yah. Empress. Mother. Mother. Goddess of the ocean. You have to learn how to navigate these waters. Okay? You have to learn how to give birth to new creations. You have to recreate yourself. You have to be at peace with being by yourself, baby. Do you understand? Do you understand? I want y'all to look up Emmy, y'all. Do I want to? Okay, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Y'all just going to have to long. Y'all going to have a long ass. And I feel like some of y'all. I feel like some of y'all just gave birth or y'all are about to have a baby or some shit like that. But maybe y'all about to separate with the person that y'all are pregnant with. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. But that's that's what I'm getting. That's what my that's what I'm getting right now. Like on a deep, deep level. Like you're gonna have to learn how to navigate these waters by yourself. Like you created this beautiful baby. Like out of this situation. I feel like this person is trying to sneak out to go work on themselves. Talking about all oh, they, they trying to be an emperor. They trying to start their own business. They trying to do this. They trying to work on anything. And they, they trying to balance the situation. And that just fuck you. You understand? You gonna have to learn. You gonna have to learn how to navigate this shit on your own. All right. So if there are any Gemini ladies out there, if you are pregnant right now, you are expecting. You have created new birth. It's time to step up and be the queen mother of the ocean and navigate these waters flawlessly so let's see it says we wish to share with you the knowledge of the old ones the orisha yemenya is also depicted as a mermaid a vast uh primordial mermaid with a star shining from her head a mermaid of power who gives birth to the world through her we remember Mermaid energy is not simply light, flirtatious, and sexy and sexual. Mermaid energy symbolizes the birth of the world through water. Even though we mermaids, power and energy has been appropriated and diminished until you think we are merely creatures of delight, sensuality. Yemen Yah's power and recognition is growing and beginning to ignite all of us she is like a beam of night a beam of light reminding us of our great age our strength and our many lessons that we have learned and how we can bring so much to the birth of the world she returns the old one who is part human part ocean creature and all humans are born of her her mirror is the doorway and the entry port to the unseen world. Her tail is the womb from which we are all born. The salt water is that of which we are all suspended in and which gives us life and oxygen. 
to this world of the land. She taught us all. She's birthed all sea creatures. She was vast island chains, but are now scales upon her tail, volcanoes on her belly, and faiths are premutations of her existence. Excuse me, you guys. We mermaids love Yim and Yah. She is the great mer being, the mother of us all. Feeling drawn to the underworld or see people's archaeology exploring the past, truly ancient history, alternative earth of the off earth history, understanding the power, power of the sea and respecting deeply feminine divinity in all forms, human, animal, and all creatures. Exploring your own power and exploring what you can birth and empower. Understanding the landscape and seeing the divine in all the curves of the hills and the belly of the mountains and the womb of the sea. Developing an interest in Santeria, Voodoo, and the lines which, oh no, it says Voodoo, sorry. Uh, Voodoo and the lines which blur across belief systems. Looking to become more primal, to reconnect with your ancient self, taking care of yourself in a very ancient and deep level and beginning to relate to people's deeper self rather than their social often constructed self. Third eye and crown chakras, highly activated, Yet sacral chakras and base chakras powerfully grounded and flowing too. I told you guys. I told you guys. Didn't I say? But I said the third eye and crown chakras. Yes, I definitely said the crown chakras. Yes. So I want you guys to look up Yamaya. As you see, I have her and her daughter on my table. Um, the beautiful Miss Oshun, the goddess Oshun, the goddess of beauty and love. Okay, and her mother, Yemen Ya. Okay, so I want y'all to do that homework. I want y'all to do that homework. And y'all, I don't know, y'all just gonna have a long ass video. Last deck, and then we the hell up out of here, y'all. We are up out of here. But um, it's time for you to navigate these waters. It's time for you to learn how to be to yourself. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to birth and create something new, a new world, a new precious baby something of your own you know for those that are not expecting a baby that's what i'm saying is like you have to learn how to be to yourself and you have to learn how to be the goddess of these oceans that you're navigating so that you can create and birth something anew please give us some last the ace of wands brand new beginnings brand new passionate beginnings and as you can see that acorn right there always smell good that pine honey mm-hmm piney fresh brand new baby so there's brand new brand new passionate beginnings brand new passionate beginnings coming to you Gemini I really do feel like I want you to keep your eyes on the prize and your eyes on the prize is keeping your eyes on thyself you know keeping yourself in a joyful stable environment and even if that the only place that you could find that is with itself then be happy with that truly be happy with that okay you can't avoid certain endings and certain things that just need to end and you need to just let it go and when you get in the way of destiny you're getting in the way of your own divine destiny okay you have to move out of the way and let things crumble where they need to fall because it's time for something new to come into your life. So you can't avoid this ending. All right. I know it's something that you didn't see coming. And that you might know. For a matter of fact, it might be something that you've seen coming. And that you're trying to avoid it. And you're still trying to avoid it. But you can't avoid what is, you know. That's the only way that this new beginning is going to come to you. When you get in the way of destiny, that's when you put yourself in a way for, like, unjustified things that happen to you. you get in the way of justice when God is trying to tell you certain things need to happen and certain things need to be the way that they need to be you need to let it be that way because otherwise that you're going to get in the wrong side of justice and then you're going to end up getting pulled into something that really you could have avoided but because 
you're trying to avoid look it's like god is trying to free you and give you a brand new beginning in life you understand but at the same time you're trying to avoid changing something and closing a chapter that needs to be god is destroyed it's, it's done it's over with and you're still trying to hold on to something and then you doing that you're going to be on the wrong side of justice and now you're going to have to answer for why you were in the way of God trying to do his work. Because you're getting in the way of other people getting their justice. And now you might end up getting yours. This is the six of coins. This is a situation that you were dealing with someone that didn't want to take care of you. They didn't want to provide. They didn't want to. They felt that you were a burden. I don't want to be around someone that is given to me. And I feel like. I'm a burden to you. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's going to be like that, I don't want it at all. I don't want it at all. So why are you trying to avoid that when God is trying to give you a new beginning? You understand? You have to learn how to be the creator, the mother, the yim and yah. You have to tap into that. You have to tap into that. And this is the seven of coins. And as you can see, this is, she has a baby. I've never in my life, this deck, the person has a baby. I've never seen someone with a baby in the Seven of Coins cards before. So that definitely resembles to me that, yes, one of you guys are about to have birth or just gave birth to a baby. Or about to give birth to a baby. Okay? And it's like you guys have been waiting, waiting, waiting patiently for, like, you to you put a, a lot of hard work into a situation. Clearly, you put hard work and you just had you you had a baby. So, yeah, y'all was fucking like shit. Yeah, y'all was working like shit. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't feel like what you put into the relationship that you're getting it back. Like, you getting a short harvest. Everything that you... It didn't pay off in the way that you expected. Yeah, it paid off with a baby. But I feel like you got paid off with a baby that you raised it by yourself. And I feel like you've been trying to wait and wait and wait for this person to do the right thing. And but you you waiting in vain. You waiting in vain. Cause it's a short harvest. You did like this is something that you didn't expect. You didn't expect that. What's this? The ten of coins in reverse. Yeah. It's an ending. It's an ending. It's an ending. And you got left with a baby by yourself. And you're having to learn how to, um, and you know, I just looked at the sanctuary card. It has water drops. So that I feel like there's a lot of tears right now. There's a lot of tears going on right now, but you're having to learn how to be alone. You have to learn how to be alone. And some of you, like I said, some of you guys are, uh, might have to be a single mother right now. It's okay. It's okay. And maybe that's why I was feeling like I couldn't talk, like my throat, my throat, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like sometimes, like, y'all don't want to talk to this person because they're a fucking asshole and they're manipulative. And then I also feel like y'all don't want to talk with this person. You just want to be to yourself. And I want to tell y'all to stop crying about the situation for the ones that got left with the baby. Stop crying about the situation. Free yourself. Trust and free yourself. Trust and free yourself. Trust and free yourself. I love you guys, okay? And I really hope that there's nobody that's, you know, that got left with a baby. But it happens all the time. We are not. <laughs> Listen. Ain't none of us perfect, baby. I'm a single mother myself, so I understand. I love you guys down. If this video resonated, first off, Google Yemen Ya. And Google Oshun. Okay? I love you. Love and like. If this video resonated, hit that like button. If you want to book a personal reading, click the about tab in um, the hyperlink for Scorpio Red Tarot as Simply Book Me is down there. And if you would like to send a love donation, you can do so. As you can see, I took forever doing this reading because I got all these new decks. So I, I like literally wanted to pull from every single deck. I don't know if y'all can see this. Y'all see all of these decks? Y'all just got, y'all just help get me. Y'all did this, so shit. Now y'all got long ass reading, it's your fault. Alright, bye.